All right, we're also watching weather tonight as we continue to see light rain that will slowly uh, but surely change over to some snow in the overnight hours. Still 39 degrees out there. Yeah, you can see the wind uh, coming in out of the west at 8 miles an hour. Dew point also at 33. So our temperature once again in that dew point continuing to get closer together as that happens. We'll continue to see that rain, eventually snow also picking up for just a little bit as we're heading into the overnight hours. 39 in Pittsburgh just had some new uh, places updating. 37 in uh, Newcastle. 38 Butler containing at 38 degrees Washington at 38 degrees this hour. Here's the setup. We have a big upper low that's just off to our north up into Ontario. We have a cold front or at least a wave that's sitting right on top of us at this point. And you can see all of that moisture that is firing off of that more cold air just off to the north and that'll swing through as we're heading into the overnight hours and will bring us to temperatures in the teens as we're waking up tomorrow. We'll be a good 30 degrees or so colder than we were this morning where we saw temperatures mid 40. So we'll continue to see what we're seeing right now. Slowly but surely the greens are going to go away and those kind of whites and blue colors are going to start to move in coming together. We are going to see some uh, accumulation in places like elevated elevated spots also mainly right along in south of I-70, probably the best place for accumulation. I do think parts of Allegheny County and Westmoreland will also see some minor accumulation as this cold front continues to dip or slide to the south. I want you to notice temperatures are very important tonight. This particular model is pretty aggressive on just how fast it brings the cold air in. We still think we'll be right at 32 degrees by about 8 or 9 o'clock, but then after that, temperature sliding below freezing. Remember, we have seen some light drizzle and rain showers over the course of the afternoon. That means many of those roads out there are untreated at this time. As we see temperatures falling below 32, we'll need to see those roads retreated before ice sets in. So some icy conditions, at least for a period of time tonight, will actually be elevated or a possibility of that. We'll continue to see that snow dipping down to the south. This is at 1 o'clock on Friday morning. And then we'll take you to about uh, 6 or 7 o'clock, actually 7 to 8 o'clock. And you can start to see still some light snow out there as Phil is making his prediction first thing in the morning. It does look like some cloudy conditions will be around for the Puxatawney area as well. Say over to your seven day. We do have some snow to talk about. In fact, uh, snow chances uh, will be back on Sunday and Monday. So yes, we see snow in the overnight hours. Some lake effect snow tomorrow morning will also be possible. Most of Saturday will be dry and another accumulating snow will be possible with a couple of inch. It looks like at this point Sunday into Monday.